25. Using the relevant S values that are listed in Appendix G, calculate the delta S notch for the following changes. And then we have N2 gas plus 5 over 2 O2 gases, which will yield N2O5 gas. Okay, so let's see. Now, they said that we have to go to Appendix G, so that's what I did for you guys. This just means that go in the back of a textbook to get your S values. Now, this little notch here, that little like degree sign, just means that we're, you know, under standard conditions. That's why we get the appendix values, because those are under standard conditions. And we want to find out that delta S. So delta S, remember, that's the change. That delta, that triangle means change, and the S means entropy. So we're looking for a change in the randomness or the disorder or chaos of the system. Are we going to more randomness, more chaos, or less randomness, less chaos? Well, maybe we can guesstimate what that change would be. Now, all of these are gases, right? Gas, gas, gas. So if I just tally up the total number of moles on the left side, keep in mind I have one N2 mole of gas plus five over two. So five over two, that's what? Two fifths? I've divided by two. Yeah, 2.5. Did I say two fifths? I meant 2.5. But anyway, one mole plus two and a half moles. So that's three and a half moles on your left side. And you're only ending with one mole of your product. Seems like you have more on your left side and you're going to something that is less in moles of gas. That sounds to me that you have less chaos, right? The more number of moles of gas you got, the more chaos. So since you're starting off higher and ending lower, less chaos. So we could probably guesstimate that this has to be a negative. Let's see. Now, I went to the back of the textbook to find out those S values, right? And all we have to do is just plug in those S values, those entropy values into a formula. Here's the formula. Oop. It is delta S for the whole entire reaction. That's what we're trying to find is the sum. That's this little uh, special symbol. That's the sum. Literally just means, you know, addition, right? So it's the sum of the products minus the sum of the reactants. So I just have to add up the, the blues and tally up the, the reds and just put them into the formula. So let's see what we got. Now, are these numbers going to stay the same or are they going to be different? Well, this goes by what you got in your balanced equation. For example, since I only have one and two, the S values are always for one of that molecule. So it would be the same here, but what you're doing is you're taking your value and you're timesing it by whatever the coefficient is. So in O2's case, since you have five over two O2s, I have to take this value and times it by five over two, or two plus, you know, 2.5, it's the same exact thing. And since I have one and 205, I just take this value and times by one, but it's the same number, right? Just, just showing you, being thorough. Now I have to sum the sides up. Literally, there's a plus sign for the reactants, so I have to add those two S values together. Here, there's only one product, so I don't really have to add anything. The product side is gonna stay the same, so 355.7. And now let's just find out the reactant side. So I have five divided by two times 205.2 plus 191.6. Total there is 704.6, 704.6. Now I'm ready to just plug it into my formula. The whole reaction, delta S for reaction, Rxn is reaction, is the products, 355.7 minus the reactants, which was 704.6. And if we kind of look at this, hey, it's a negative value. We predicted correctly. So my delta S for my whole entire reaction is 355.7 minus the 704 number. So I get a negative 300 and 48.9, and 
And units are the S units that are standard on the appendix or the back of the textbook. Joules per mole times Kelvin. And we could box that answer off. That's the end. Not bad. Pretty simple formula. What did you think? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm really gonna stop coloring here. Beautiful. Okay. Thank you so much. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. That will help us out. You guys have been so kind throughout this whole YouTube journey. Thank you so much for that. Let's keep learning and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.